Happy Monday, guys! So today is Preschool Picasso in our Every Child is an Artist theme. So this week we want to be very colorful and adventurous with our artwork. So I am going to show you the literacy portion of the lesson plan, Making Letters with Shapes. So like I said, we want this week to be colorful. I didn't have colorful construction paper like you guys should in your summer packet. So I just cut out some shapes that I colored. You make sure that you want to um, do different shapes, you know, triangle, square, circles, rectangles, diamonds, ovals, um, anything you want your child to really work on. So then it says we are gonna draw a letter on a piece of paper. So I'm just gonna take any color marker and you can do this for their name if you want to practice the first letter of their name or any letter of their name you could do this for the entire alphabet if you really wanted um, so I'm just going to start with letter A and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it a little bit more like a bubble letter if you can't do that. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. Um, but if you can't do that, you can also just do all the on the line and have the child glue the pieces on the line. Then you're going to need some glue. We like to have the children do the glue on their own. It's good for them to practice. And you're just going to have them put the glue all over the letter. Remember, this is children's art. It does not have to be perfect. If they get it outside of the letter, that's perfectly okay. The goal of this is to practice the different letters, whichever letter you wanna work on, and also shapes at the same time. So while you're doing this, you wanna ask them questions such as, oh, what letter are we doing? You know, even an A, you can be like, oh, what shape does an A look like? Looks like a triangle. Then you want to have them pick up their pieces. Like I said, I didn't have colored paper, but I colored some. <laughs> and you can have them also cut out the shapes if you wanted to work on that. So then as they pick up a piece, remember pinching with your pincher, your pointer finger and your thumb, pinch, pinch, pinch. You can ask them also, oh, what shape is this? It's a rectangle. Okay, put the rectangle on the A. Wherever they put it does not have to be perfect. Pick it up. What shape is this? A circle. It's round. You can also do what color is this? Green. And they could paste it wherever they want. What shape is this? This one's tiny. But this one's a orange triangle. Paste it wherever they want. Again, you want to be asking the children and have them answer. You don't want to be giving them the answers. You just want to ask the question. What shape is this? Triangle. Give them a second or two to answer. Put it on. Good job. What shape is this? Again, another triangle. What color is it though? This one's blue. What color was this one? Yellow. You know, outside the line a little bit, it's okay. Again, ask them the question with every shape that they do. And you wanna make sure that the children are doing it on their own. It does not have to be perfect. You just want them to practice their letters, shapes, colors, the great thing about one activity is it could be turned into multiple lessons. So make sure you're asking the right questions and having them practice. Like I said, it's also good for fine motor because they're picking up those pieces. So make sure you're asking lots of questions and having the children do it on their own. Hope you guys have fun.